We're living in a world where there is a constant set of demands pulling on our time, energy, and attention. If we want to create environments where other people can do their best work, we need to do things differently. This isn't just about stress management. This isn't about working less and work-life balance. It's about strategy. How do we take leadership to the next level? As I work with leaders from across the country, what I see is what I think we all see. People have come to believe that exhaustion is the cost of success. There's powerful brain science behind why we feel the way we do. And the mistake is we think we need to try to remove the stress. It's just not a reality. When we think about leadership, you can't take the stress out of leadership. What you can do is you can increase the capacity to manage that stress more effectively. That's what I call the leadership vitality quotient. Rumor on the street is that you guys are feeling a little bit of pressure nowadays. So we're gonna look at how do we increase our leadership impact by increasing this vitality quotient because it makes all the other pieces come to life in a much more effective way. We would think that when we need a break, our brain and our body would tell us, but in fact, our brain sends an opposite message. It tells us that's the time we have to keep going and trying to push through. So the reason I study this, the reason I'm so dedicated to this is not only what the research is showing us, but I was also one of those leaders. I was one of those people who was feeling the pressure to be successful and thinking that hard work is how I was going to get there. So I started this routine. I would go down to the water and I would do this hour long kayak. I could feel this tension in my body. My heart actually started racing. I felt like something was wrong. And then I realized, I realized exactly what was wrong. Nothing was wrong. This headache that I had had for three years straight was gone. I felt like myself, and the crazy thing is, I hadn't even realized I had lost myself. It's time we redefine what success looks like. And I see again and again and again in so many organizations where wonderfully intentioned people have inadvertently made themselves indispensable because they think that they have to have the solution to every single problem. But in that situation, then you have to be at every meeting and you have to answer every email and you never can actually be away and take the time off. You cannot be a leader if you are exhausted. It is incredibly hard to be filled with empathy when we are drained of energy. There are three core components that we need to include. Number one is our business intelligence. Like we need experience and expertise. There's no doubt about it. What we know matters. The second piece is how we do that work, our emotional intelligence, how we execute through others. When things are going well, our intentions and our impact are aligned and that's great. Here's the challenge. When we are working in that pressure environment, where deadlines are occurring, when, when we're hungry, does anybody notice? <laughs> Does anyone else's behavior change when you're hungry? And the piece that people are missing is the vitality quotient. And what that does is it creates the energy and resilience to power the other two. So what's amazing is that organizations have a distinct competitive advantage when they recognize that it's all three of these that fuel leaders, that move exhausted leaders to exceptional leaders. If we want to bring the very best of what we have to the table, if we want to do that day after day, if we want to create an environment where other people can do the exact same thing, then the strategies of yesterday are not going to be enough for today. When people have more fuel to power their experience, their expertise, and their emotional intelligence, they're able to create an environment where creativity is shown, where people are able to manage the change that seems never ending. I would like every single one of you to allow yourself to be the leader that you can be. And if you are going to commit yourself to building this vitality factor, I can guarantee that will be your defining competitive advantage.